I actually saw Jessica that you said in an interview that this is basically like Love Island, but set during the bubonic plague, which I'm just obsessed with. And why isn't this being used in the marketing? It's just amazing to me. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of contestants do you guys think that your characters would be like if they were in Love Island? And who do you think would be the fan favourite? Oh, that's such a good question. I'm not watching it this year, but I have no. watched it in previous years. I feel like who would be the fan favourite? Oh, that is a good question. I, maybe this is me being um, what, blowing Lachiska's trumpet <laughs> a bit. <laughs> but... <laughs> I feel like Lachiska would be, oh my God, what was her name? Was it M Moira? Moira? Oh my gosh, yes, yeah. Oh. Fanny, Fanny Flutters, Moira? Yeah, completely. What's that so one? But I know you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, about. yeah, just the way that she was like, you know, she was, um, she knew what she wanted yeah. and she went and got it and like, she wouldn't take any nonsense. Yeah. Any yeah, 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 yeah. She's a bit Lachie. Lachie's got a little Moira coded. Love that. I, I don't know. That. You know what? I'm so bad. I haven't watched it for such a long time. But I feel like Philomena would be one that just kind of, you know, like a real girl's girl. Mm. <laughs> she's she's going for chat. But I, but I think she's just like a real girl's girl and just like thinks all the boys are gross and slimy and probably leaves on week one yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. she would, i think in that i think philomena would be the fan favorite no i think she'd be no, like the worst. she'd be the one that all everyone watching at home is like yeah she's the only one with any sense they'll actually. be like why does she go on the show she clearly hates all the men <laughs> you know, for the brand deals and she wants <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 there you go um Tanya, I've been like a big fan of yours since sex education. And it's quite cool to see you in this other very sexy project. <laughs> I feel like I'm sensing a theme here, but it's obviously like super different because it's different stages of time, ages of people. Maybe you could talk me through, particularly in regards to the sex scenes, what the prep was like and also like executing that between the two shows. Oh gosh, well, I guess the in the Decameron, I... Lachiska has sex with um with a man which is one man is it just one man yeah yeah um yeah she has sex with a man so uh, whereas in the in um in sex education I think all my sex scenes were with um Trish who played Ola so yeah just kind of like very different actually like doing sex scenes with a uh, with like you just have there's different bits and pieces that yeah, you've got yeah, to yeah. like put in pants. Navigate, yeah. Like yeah, you yeah. have like yeah. pants with 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 um with padding so that nothing touches and uh and a and a humping uh cushion that you um Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Yeah. I've never used a humping cushion. Well we had one. What? Me and Amma, like where well, you you put the cushion between, between you, you, so you're kind of you're humping, you're the, humping cushion. the cushion rather than each other. It's like yeah. a dog. <laughs> yeah, like a yeah. dog. Two dogs. <laughs> but I do love Lily as a character. She is absolutely excellent. And I kind of found myself wondering, how do you think she would get on in this, like, sickly, sexy house? Oh, I think Lily would thrive. I think, yeah, I think she'd, like, have all the time to like create, she'd create, we should make some really beautiful art. Did you see in episode four, there's the penis room. There's a room that is just penises. I mean, that's Lily's like heaven. Have creative heaven. <laughs> oh, true, actually. I love that. Yeah. Inner element, just like doing her own thing. Yeah, she'd make some really great art, I think. When I was doing a bit of research for this interview, I had such a throwback, Jessica, because I didn't realise that you were in a girl group when you were younger. This is amazing to me because also the songs, I was like, yes, this is brilliant. Um, So I would love to know, and I have a really fun answer for this, but if you guys, Stirsha and Zosha, had to make a girl band, what would you call it? Oh my God, I want to know your answer. <gasps> What is your, what do you think? Okay, this is me and my boss. I actually can't take credit, but the sugar plagues. Oh my God. The sugar plagues. I love that. I oh love that. I love 
so much. We need to we need to make that happen. I'm obsessed. The show can play. I'm just thinking about how we make that happen for like Halloween or something. Yeah, I know. We 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 should do that. I saw that you guys filmed this show in Rome for six months, which I was like immediately quite jealous of. What was that like? Oh, it was amazing. It was amazing. It was truly yeah. amazing. I mean, it was so fun. We ate exceptionally well. Yeah. Um. And the just being there for like three seasons, really, yeah, yeah. like it was just and it, it was beautiful. We did all the like touristy stuff, um, but we also got to like because we were there for so long, we got yeah. to really like live there, yeah, and, uh, yeah, um, yeah, make it feel like home, yeah. It just yeah. was, we honestly had the best time, and we all kind of lived like quite near each other, and mm-hmm. it was nice to just like just pop around to each other's apartments and mm-hmm. just like have dinners together and yeah we had a wonderful dinner one night Dougie hosted us all for um oh for, God, yeah for tacos taco with a side of finger yeah and Dougie actually cut off this is quite early on in the beginning of filming and he actually cut off a bit of his finger yeah <laughs> it was really it was oh, really bad no. it was really bad yeah but he was so <laughs> desperate for us to have a nice night he was just like it's fine it's fine and he was like pouring yeah. with blood <laughs> And he was like, no, no, everyone, t- dig in. Yeah. <laughs> it's made now. You have to enjoy it. But people always say, like, do as the Romans do. Is there anything that you're going to take from your time in Rome about, like, how they live their lives and kind of implement it for yourself? Um, I can't eat the same anymore. Like, <laughs> I'm like, so, like, I before would eat pasta, maybe just, I don't know. I just, I wouldn't even, I'd buy it for, yeah. for my daughter. I eat pasta, like, three times a week now. I'm okay. just like, I, Mediterranean diet, <laughs> whatever. I felt like I because re- I my dad I'm half Italian. My dad's Italian, so like I grew up on pasta. And then yeah. when I moved out of home, I kind of I I didn't eat pasta as much. And now I'm yeah I'm back on I'm back on the pasta train. Back on the pasta train. and putting olive oil, olive oil, and everything. Oh my god, my appreciation for olive yeah. oil, a good olive oil. Oh my god, like yeah. chef's kiss. Amazing. Um, Words to live by, truly. <laughs> um, I have to wrap up now, but honestly, such a pleasure to speak to you guys. And best of luck with the release. I think everybody's going to absolutely love this. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank <laughs> you. Bye.